it's Madden NFL 23. And up next are the Texans' veteran running back. He was unstoppable a week ago. A mountain of yards and a pair of touchdowns. It's the Texans and the Chargers. And it's coming right up on EA Sports. Got a wonderful fall afternoon in the state of Texas. The roof is open and we've got football from NRG Stadium in Houston. Today it's week four and we've got what should be a great one here between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Houston Texans. Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis on hand here. CD, you look at the Texans in this matchup. They're the best team in the NFL as far as running the football goes, but they're in for a stern test here. Yeah, that defense that they're going up against, they're no slouch either. One of the top five units in the league. I think this game could boil down to stopping the big play. This offense can certainly hit some home runs, and if they hit on a couple here, it might be all they need to win the game. The Texans offense set up with a short field here as they get things going. And one guy we'll be keeping close tabs on is this man, the veteran at running back. As his strong season continues, last week's performance putting him over 1,000 yards now for the year. And what do you think he's saying? Feed me. Exactly. Got more. It. I want more. More yardage. Because he's definitely not going to be satisfied with what he's accomplished thus far. And this defense not ready for that one as he'll take this down inside the 25. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Ready up. game working they'll stick with it on first down this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker eight yard gain second and two and after his performance last week everybody saw it unbelievable you can expect a heavy dose of him again i think without a doubt i mean why wouldn't you because once you establish yourself that way it's not just him okay it's his offensive line it's a tight end, it's your wide receivers, everyone now sharing in the load and sharing in the belief that they do their job. This is the Two yards good for the first. Too many more ideal situations in second and two. And they're going to try to pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the nine. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. To throw Mills. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Brevin Jordan. His first touchdown on the year. And the Texans use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. And now before we get to the extra point, remember all touchdowns do have to be confirmed by the rookie official. They're taking a peek at whether or not those feet were in bounds, and obviously a big call here in the end zone. And not just the feet. How about the hands? How is the ball possessed while the feet are hopefully getting down in bounds. That's what they're trying to look at to see if it all comes together. After review the play, including on the field. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review, so they had it right. First down throw for Mills. 
Looking for his running back, and he's got it. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. That's a nice throw there, and he's obviously feeling pretty good because remember, he had a touchdown pass on the last drive, and here he comes out throwing again, and they wind up getting good yardage and a first down right out of the gate. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. We take a look at his numbers on the ground last week. Pretty good as he found himself in the end zone on two separate occasions. And those are the most important numbers because no matter what you pile up prior to the goal line, getting in is all that matters. Putting those numbers up on the board, and they love them when they're sixes. From the 44, Mills over the middle, Dorsett. And he's brought to the ground with another first down in the Chargers 43 line. 6-3 is our score after one. It's the NFL on EA Sports. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 34. 47 yards on the ground for him so far. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more like a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys going to want to run up and tackle him. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 of the 6. And he can hurl on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. This offense number one in the NFL in picking up first downs, and the run game got him another one there. A really good stat to lead the league in, isn't it? Because if you keep picking up first downs, sustaining drives, that means you're controlling the football, controlling the clock, and letting your defense rest on the sidelines. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now a handoff running through the middle. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. A great play there. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. No, oh, CD, there didn't seem to be much resistance there down near the goal line. Yeah, partner, from what I saw there, not a real good job of matching up defensively because to me, it looked like they were just in their base 3-4 package. You need bigger bodies in there in a goal line type situation. The 3-4, 5 between the 20s, but not down here when you're guarding your end zone. At the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And they finally do get him, but not before he reaches the 27. A huge play there for Houston. 43 yards on the ground. So they had it bottled up, able to make a man miss, and then boom, off to the races. And it's how he made him miss. A little bit of strength, too. Had to work through contact to get him off of him. And then once he did that, now he put his agility to use and took off. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And they'll get this down to the 10. 16 more on that one and another first down. A couple of very nice carries to start this drive out. Yeah, two first downs. And how about that second one? What a nice run on that particular play. I'm telling you, they're going to start to think that this game is easy if they continue to rip off yardage like this. So 
not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Throwing, Mills. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's gonna be brought down just shy of the five at the six. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And a little bit of space there, takes it inside the five to the three. They'll yeah, come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. And they'll keep leaning on the running game, back to the ground. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Well, they picked up a portion of it, but not all that they needed. Now that leads to a decision on fourth and one. Let's see what they decide to do. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. And he's not going to get there. They tackle him at the two. The run is turned away on fourth and goal from the two. And the Chargers hold tight down near the goal line. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. Let's go now. Mills on first down. Try to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball in a passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is, because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. He's going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So here are the Texans to take over. They were winners a week ago over the Bears, and they lead things here as well as they start this drive with a first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he's got room. Down the numbers. There he goes. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Houston. A great effort there. His 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Texans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Uh, two fantastic games coming up to wrap up week four, the first weekend in October. Uh, tonight, the Chiefs and Buccaneers from Tampa. That's a rematch of Super Bowl 55, of course. And then Monday night, rematch of last year's NFC Championship game, the Rams and Niners from Santa Clara. Coverage on that one, 8-15 Eastern. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And a pretty good burst there as he'll get this across midfield and down to the 46. 245 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. First and ten, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he's got daylight. And he goes diving to get as much as he can. Following a big gain. And that's a little cherry on top there at the end. A huge play there for Houston. 
Boston. 45 yards. Great run there, but it looked like they were going to have him for the stop. He was able to push through. They didn't wrap up defensively. No, they didn't. All credit to the runner for making it happen, breaking through some contact and going a long way. But the defensive guys, when they watch this on tape, they're not going to be real happy with themselves. They had a great opportunity that they let slip through their hands. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second. They go. They'll try to run this one in. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. They lost four there, and it's third down. That's a nice example of good team defense right there. Ball was snapped at the one-yard line. They knocked him back and caused a loss. But you notice they were trying to find any type of a gap to run through. Wasn't one available, and they stuffed the play right there in the middle of the field. Flushed, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Khalil Mack able to record his fifth sack of the season. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tap. Getting set to go again as we look at the back heading onto the field again. He is hoping to find the end zone for a third time, and we sit now in the third quarter. And nothing would excite him more, but I think even more so, his offensive line. Anytime you've got a guy scoring that many times, that means you've done a really nice job in front of him. You're always giving props to the big fellas up front. It's always a good idea. This is a massive man. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? Right back to him on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Now they'll run it on the toss. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. The Chargers trot out their dime package, expecting a throw on third down. From the shotgun, it's Mills. He's going to float this one deep right side. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by J.C. Jackson. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. I'm curious to see, Charles, about the play calling on this drive. Last time out, the interception that led to a touchdown. Here we are. I mean, very close. One score game. Yeah, and if I'm a defender, I'm actually chirping Chile on the other side of the ball. Said, hey, we picked off the last one. What you going to do about it now? So when you do throw the football, high percentage, but throw it with confidence. If there's any hesitancy at all, it could end up in enemy's hands again. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Two runs for a net gain of nothing. Now here's third and ten. Here's Mills. Dorsett's got it. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that certainly appears to be a critical conversion right there because not only do they keep the drive going, they take valuable time off the clock as well. They have to feel really good about that last completion. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So front charger territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. And some room to win over. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 the 6. And 21 yards on the ball. I'm assuming they're keeping this far. I would think so, because you're looking at the clock. 
that's in your favor. You look at the geography of the field, right, where you are, that's in your favor as well. Keep it on the ground, keep pounding, run that clock down. You got everything working in your direction. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans are looking to make it two straight as they add on to this fourth quarter lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. And the Texans set to come onto the field. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. Touchdown, Houston. A great play there. 30 yards. And the Texans have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Boy, missed tackles continuing to play this defense, and they surrender another big play and a touchdown here. Yeah, but my count, at least two guys had shots at it, maybe even more than that. But this defense, they've looked out of sorts all game long. That was definitely not one of their better efforts right there. Houston set to take over. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. Hey. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go do the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. And the Texans are going to have a first and goal as he's able to take this inside the 10 of the eight. This was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. And then I think they're the type of team that just looked in the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Texans, they're on a nice early roll as they move to three and one with a win here. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they'll fall back to 500 at two and two. And they'll try to get back on the beam next week as they'll head to Cleveland to take on the Browns.